Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add all the deliberate date or time to your WooCommerce store. Especially, it will be very helpful for WooCommerce grocery stores. So, let me give you a brief on creating grocery store using WooCommerce. So, I have already a WordPress website over here and have installed and activated WooCommerce plugin. Then, if you if you want to select a theme, you can go for appearance theme section. So there will be many themes available for groceries. So currently I'm using storefront theme. It's a free one. There are paid ones too. Then let me show you how to add products. You can either add the products by importing a CSV file. You can click on import and choose the CSV file you have to import it. Or else you can manually add each product. So I'm going to show you how to add one and click on the add new. I'm going to name it as onion. If you have any description, you can add it over here. And then I'm going to give the regular price as 25 and I'm going to sell it at 23. I can add an image over from here. Add an image. And we have more image, so we can add it over here. The gallery images. And I'm going to just publish it. So it's published. Now I'm going to just reload my site. Can see the product is added over here. Now let me show you how to integrate the order delivery date plugin. So I have seen one plugin by Bicon so it allows me to select delivery or pickup and give me a date and time field too. So I'm just gonna show you how to integrate this plugin to our site. So in order to add a new plugin, we have Plugins add new section. Just search for it. Gonna install the plugin. And activate it. See, I can see my plugin is activated over here. So I'm gonna set it up. Go to the order delivery date time management section in your WordPress dashboard. I'm gonna select it. Then I'm gonna allow my order for delivery as well as pickup. So I can select both. If you want only pickup, then you can select this. Suppose you wanna make it as both. And if you only want for next 10 days delivery only, like if the customer is going to order today, the dates up to 10 days will be available for him or her. So you can set the time over here. And if you want a time field, you can click on this. And if it is a mandatory, please select this too. And this is for pickup hours and deliver hours. You can give a time. And what will it as the default one itself? And this one, minimum delivery times, if you want to show some message to the client, if the customer can give the message over here. This is for the text, pick up text, whatever you want, the delivery text, date, time, and the messages. We have so many things over here for the customization of the text that, that needs to be appeared in your site. You can see position of the text in the order speech. So where you want to place these fields, you can either select show on top or bottom. I'm going to show the fields at the top of my checkout page. Let it be the selected and time itself uh, and order type and let these things be there. I'm not going to change any default text. If you want, you can change it. And you can select whatever the time for fund you are required. I'm going to select well levels itself and save the changes. Let 
So what is there on custom modification request? So if you need any custom modifications in your site, you can just mail them, they will reach out to you. And if there is, you want to exclude some dates because of the holidays, you can do that too from the holiday management of that section. You can select whatever the date you want, what are the days you want to disable from the calendar. And the location settings, if you want to make any multiple location, pick up locations, you can do that over here. So we are going to just look on the basic setup. So, so we are going to add this into my cart. Gonna add another product. So let me buy for chicken curry, big quantity. So you bought. I have under two products. I'm gonna to check out. See, here are my fields. So we can select either pickup or delivery. Gonna make it as a delivery. Need delivery arrows. Select a date and time. So you already given the range over there. It'll be by 5 p.m. And I need a delivery name and. Whatever be it, just gonna some random, gonna do some random names. Yeah, just like give you some dummy data. Data server here. I'm going to select the cash and deliver at the payment gateway. Place the order. So it shows me my zip code is wrong. Okay. Finally, I place the order. You can see the order details over here. The delivery date, I have given delivery time, order type, and the order will be delivered on my as a requested. So, what will be there on the admin side? See the WooCommerce order section. Say, so I have got an order. So we can see when the customer needs to be delivered, date, time, date, and time. Yeah, so that pretty much explains everything.